What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Axel Carter. I know, it's been a hot mi minute since you've seen me and my shit. And you know what it is. I'm helping the host who does it the most, Lit Like 96, here. And don't worry, I've been bugging him for more videos. Those are probably going to be coming soon before the summer ends. But anyway, welcome back to Reddit Reactions. You already saw the most recent OC, Deshaun Martin. Martin, a.k.a. Red Hood. But yeah, we saw him in his, basically we saw him in the outfit before Joker bashed his head in. Long story short, uh, if you want to see more videos with Deshaun, you can go over to the second channel, lit like 96 underscore broadcast. So have fun with that. Uh, that's where we're going to be basically keep, that's where Deshaun's domain is from there on. That, that and that uh, D&D OC, see I met, what's his name? Mugen, there it is. Both him and his little bro brother are going to be on that. That account. So, uh, yeah, have fun with that, ladies and gents. Have fun with that. Right. But enough about me. I have a new, new Reddit story for you guys. This time, I'll actually be reading this one. Don't worry. I'll make sure the picture is visible so that you can see it. All right. <coughs> mm. Sorry. As always, make sure that you don't forget hit the like, leave a comment, click the repost button, add it to your store. Story. That's the new feature now on TikTok. Uh, you can add other people's videos to your story now, for those of you who didn't know. Uh, gotta stay hydrated. Alrighty. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction and let's have a little talk about this. <clears throat> keep in mind, keep in mind, before we get started, strongest piece of advice for anybody else who wants to kind of do this thing, take screenshots, because nine times out of ten, the good Reddit stories always get deleted by the mods, and for stupid reasons, too. Case in point, Reddit banned me from the cheating, from commenting for on the cheating uh, stories Reddit, subreddit, for about two weeks, because I told a piece of advice to get a private investigator. Yeah, no, basically Reddit supports cheaters. Like, telling someone to install a hacking app on somebody else's phone, I get at that. I get why you would get banned for that, but I mean, come on. A private investigator. I mean, seriously, what world, world are we living in? But, back to the show. This post is from That Fine Hawaiian. My 32 minutes wife, 30 female, was asked to have a threesome um, with our friend couple, well, male and female, 34, with me excluded, and she hid it from me. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Just damn. <coughs> damn. <coughs> I'm on back to reaction to fucking cackle like a hyena. Holy hell. All right. First things first. First things first, it, it seems like we're back with this open relationship at BS. Like, where do I begin with this? What the fuck? It's like, hey, hey, do you want to have a threesome with me and my boyfriend? Except your boyfriend has to sit at home. home. Ladies, ladies, I don't know who the fuck is hurting you, but you got to stop doing this shit. It's not cute. It's not fu funny. <laughs> like, <clears throat> mm, sorry. Fighting off a bit of a cough. I'm winning for the most part. But contrary to what you're seeing. But anyway. Um, critical question. Why are, we, sing, why are women in a relationship asking other wi women that, ha that are like married or have a boyfriend to join in on a threesome with their boyfriend? I, like, I'm seeing this. This hypergamy thing is crazy as fuck. Let's, let's start with that. Nah, this is just the title. We're not even in on the fucking story yet. Okay, let's let's dive in on this. My wife and I are monogamous. I don't want to hear no defenses now. I just like that just proved my point further. A couple that my wife and I frequently hang out with and double date with, with recently asked my wife to have a threesome with them and specifically asked to have me left out of it. Who does this? Who does, th dude, dude, like if they're, again, I have nothing against swingers. 
I have nothing against poly people who do this polyamorous thing, but that shit don't work. That shit don't work. Like, keep it on your side of the fence. Whatever happened to this? Whatever happened to respecting other people's boundaries? Like, she's a married woman, and you're and it's like, yeah, no, your husband has to be out of it. Be like, so you want her to just cheat on her husband? Like, just because you don't deem it cheating in your marriage doesn't mean mean that somebody else does. All right, let's go further in. She explicitly hid this knowledge from me, and now months later, I found out through a mutual friend friend asking me about it. I mean, good on the friend-ish question. How did the mutual friend know about, about it? That's one. Number two, ladies, don't hide this shit. Don't. Like, stop hiding this shit. That just only makes you look more guilty, okay? That makes you look more guilty because uh, that basically means you either A, thought about it, or B, you did it behind their back. And and the fact that he's learning this from the mutual friend, that's already a game, game over right there. Little backstory. It's my wife's best friend and her boyfriend. My wife has talked about how being bi, curious, and experimenting and has brought up her friend's name. There are frequent switch. They are frequent swingers. Her boyfriend apparently he has openly talked about wanting to get in with my wife, and his girlfriend jokes about about it. See, see, I, me personally, I can never hang with people like this because it's just like there's no boundaries. There's no boundaries. Like, just respect the fact that some people just do things their own way. Anyway, way when I confronted her her about about this, she of course downplayed it. Mm -mm, minimization. That's how you know she she spread her legs for another man. Like. To any woman that is in a relationship, you want some strong key advice from a guy's perspective. Do not minimize this shit. The moment you minimize that shiz and you make it think like, oh, it's not that big of a de deal, then we gonna th sit there and with every guy gonna have this mindset. Well, since you think it's not that big of a deal, then you being single is not, not a big of a de deal. And look, let me put it to you in a perspective that for most women who are gonna sit there and probably defend this to the, to their dying breath, okay, that is her husband. He wined and dined her for years, is providing for her, and is paying the bills. Versus her best friend's boyfriend just had to be a smart ass, talk dirty to her in public in front of not only her boyfriend, but also just in front of like the whole friend group. And <laughs> Niagara falls between her legs. You see where the issue is, right? You see it, right? Because I see it clear as day. That's the problem. One man did all the work. The other one's getting it for fr free. That's why most of these marriages ain't working nowadays. And that's why David's bridal's going bankrupt. Anyway. She downplayed it and said it wasn't a big de deal. When I asked why, why she hit it, she could not justify an answer. So, yeah, she definitely did, did it with it, them. When asked if she did it, she vehemently denied it, but in my opinion was acting sus and all nervous. Yeah, no, she definitely fucking did it. It. How should I go about this? Also, how do I ha have the right to be fucking pit? Also, do I have the right to be fucking pit? This my wife withheld this information. I feel that that if the roles were reversed, they asked me and only me to have a three threesome. And with her, her being left out, and I didn't tell her, her it would be Armageddon. And even if she didn't cheat, am I allowed to be mad? And if she hit it, let me answer this question. Yes, yes. <clears throat> this is the biggest problem problem with this day and age with dating and marriage in general well the biggest problem that i have seen seen is that women will make all these rules of engagement for a man but will not follow them in the slightest and i've seen my own sisters do this kind of shit i love them but i'll look at them and be like okay so when are you gonna follow that rule because he's been following that but i've seen you just do all this shit yeah so going by that going by the logic you've been left up Thus, you not following that shit. I can say this now. This is a whole grown ass woman. This is a whole grown ass wo woman, and she's sitting out here, hearing everything, thing, doing all this. First things for, first, you're getting. Tr yes, she has done it with them, because that whole bi curious thing, like, come the fuck up, on, come the fuck on. She wanted a chance to have an open relationship type th thing. I guarantee that's gonna be the next question, my dude. I guarantee that's gonna be the next question. So let's talk about, about it from this perspective. I got a few minutes to talk 
talk because like I said, this post did get deleted and it's a good thing I screenshotted it because the last time I came across a good post, uh, I was recording a different video with like two stories in between. One of the videos I knew, one of the stories I knew off the top of my head because I just barely came out the bathroom while I was finished reading it. And my only thought was, let me screenshot it just to be safe. And uh, yeah, <coughs> yeah, I'm kind of regretting that one. But uh, let's let's go in on this. I, I'll never understand why women do this kind of thing. Like, <coughs> mm. hold on, two seconds. Okay, much better. That should even it out a bit. Mm. I'll never understand why women do this kind of thing thing to begin with. It's like, and, and the craziest part is there are other women calling this shit out and sitting there like, why are you dating this person? Why are you married to them? They've done this, that, and the thir third, and you're spreading your legs for another man. And, and, and the biggest part that really just kind of like gets me there and grinds my gears is when it's just like, men aren't asking for much in a relationship. We're just asking for the loyalty. Like, damn, it's like, stay loyal to me, be loving, thing, and all this shit is. But it's just like, what you call it? Women love opportunistically. I, 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 like, this is the biggest problem right here. It's been called out for so many years, and it's like, it's starting to show more frequently like, in this modern day and age. Because it's like, what's the point in getting a re relationship if no one is willing to participate hey, and stay loyal? Just, just think about it. It's one thing if both parties consent to this, but the wife was asked and the best friend just sat there and said, hey, come have a threesome with me and my boyfriend, but your bo but your husband has to be left out. Like, no one respects marriage. Not even other people outside the marriage respect that, that shit. Is. Like, oh my god. Oh my freaking god. It's, it, it, it's disgusting, really. It makes you sit there and think, who the hell is this person? Sin. But I can tell you this now, dude, you're that fine Hawaiian. If you're watching this video, whether if it's on Reddit, my TikTok or on my YouTube, I can tell you this now. Your wife didn't did the deed and it's time to get the divorce papers. Do not do the pick me dance. I'm going to say this now. And this is not just for him. This is for anyone in a relationship and that uh, and that like has all the evidence that their significant other better half or spouse is cheating on them. Walk away. Get your, get your mo money and finances to get together. Get all your ducks in a row, dot your I's, cross your T's, all that other shiz, and just leave. Do not do the pick me dance. Because if it's one thing that cheaters in general love, it, it's the attention. It's it, it's the attention, especially when they get caught. Like, this is a crucial thi thing, and I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to say this right now. So This is the key thing. If in a situation, let's just say if a guy gets like his girlfriend's, his girlfriend's best friend's nudes off rip, she just instantly just wham, whips out a titty or some shit is and sends it to, to her, uh, to her, her best friend's boyfriend. It's just like, what you, uh, she's like, she doesn't have to know. Any loyal man is going to just sit there and tell his girlfriend directly like, Hey, look, your best friend just sent me this shit. Shit it's been like two seconds. In in on this shit. I just wanted to let you know. I don't know. You want to fuck with her, her, and, I, not, and all that. That, I guarantee you, most women are gonna flip the fuck out, even when you tell them that shit. But it, but even then, when you when they go and tell their friends, they're like, well, at least he said it right then and there. He said it up front. You check the timestamps on it. That's still fresh. You gotta confront the friend, not hit him. He, that lets you know he's being loyal. Versus, I, now I, I gotta be honest. And before we get this shit started. Yes, I know it's not all women. I know it's not all women. To the women who are going to start saying that shit in my comment section, because I know I'm on social media and everybody's going to have this selective hearing and selective outrage. Rage. Follow your own pieces of advice. Not all women. You know what? If, if that's true and it don't apply to you, sit down and keep qu quiet. Like, why are you defending the opposition? The ones that are making you look bad. If some mother, if some bitch rob a bank, you're not gonna defend her, her in court, 
for it, knowing perfectly well you had nothing to do with the bank robbery. Just keeping the realism active. But yeah, yeah back to this shit. Is if a guy goes through this, he'll most of them will actually admit it would happen and showcase the evidence and all that. That you ever just notice that in this current day and age, a lot of women love to just kind kind of take a secret with them to the grave. And it's just and again, I'm telling you this now. It's always something. It's always some friend, some neighbor, uh, your significant other's boss. Or their boss, or their coworker, and vice versa. So, and it's just like, okay, you're letting this person kind of do it. And this is the key thing. This is the key thing with most people like th them that just like kind of try to snatch up other people's like significant others and shiz and get them into the affairs and all, all that. The silence is worse than the crime itself. Because nine times out of ten, most people consider silence to be a form of consent. A lot of people love, love there are a ton of people who get a high off that kind of game. Yeah, we'll be like, she didn't say yes, but like, she didn't say no either. It's a form of plausible deniability. It's like, well, maybe. When he puts it that way, be like, okay, then why am I here? Why am I dating you? And it's just kind of weird how that whole thing goes. But anyway, I didn't talk to you all for more than 15 min minutes. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are in the comment section. Jen. And don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe. If you're on TikTok, click the repost button, share this all with your friends. Friends, and make sure you know to go to the host who does it the most, Lit Like 96. Good night, everybody.